Hey there, really great to see you this week. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are having some opportunities to make your way out little by little. Uh, some communities starting to open up in limited capacity. Maybe get to that restaurant for the first time or whatever it may be. So I figured today's tutorial might be kind of fun. Sort of that break out of the house, get your game face on, going out kind of a look, still being mindful of price points. And I think this would be really neat to sort of glam it up with you all. The last uh, drugstore tutorial I did was more of a bronzy, earthy, kind of a natural look, but we are really, really, really gonna ramp it up and have some fun with this, okay? Oh wait, before I do that, please let me acknowledge something new that you're seeing. Take a look at this Audrey. She was hand painted by a YouTube viewer and I am so grateful. It's beautiful and it has an Audrey quote. It says, elegance, the only beauty that never fades by Audrey Hepburn. So I love her and, and she's now hanging over my right shoulder to your left. Um, I hope you enjoy her too and I thank you so much for this beautiful work of art. It's awesome. Okay, on with the show. Red lip inspired, by the way. So we're starting off with our primer, NYX Shine Killer. And this will provide a nice matte look, something that'll last if you're going out, and to help your foundation sit well too. Speaking of foundation, NYX can't stop, won't stop. I am a color combiner, so I'm mixing two colors, one of which is a cl called Classic Tan and the other is Medium Olive because I always find them in between two shades. So you can vary how much of each if you have to blend. So I'm going to do a pump of the classic tam and then just a little bit of the olive just to tone it down a smidge. Pretty good. And remember the trick with the foundation is always matching your chest color so it is on one plane. You don't want your head to be lighter than your chest and it might mean going a shade deeper on your face. Looks a little odd at first but when you are completely made up, it all pulls and makes sense. Down the neck, and here's where we start to match. You see? Don't forget your ears if you have a short haircut. I always wind up tucking my hair behind my ear so I don't want a little white pink ear. <laughs> okay, foundation is on. The concealer that I'm going to use, and I'm going to concealer right now because I use this as my eyeshadow primer and it's L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. So I'm just going to do a little dab on each lid and blend it in. Okay, eyebrows. And for that, Maybelline Tattoo Studio. One of my favorites, it's a little pomade, comes with a little brush, and there are quite a few shades. This is sort of a ashy dark brown. And I just go in with these light little strokes, cut my bottom line first, which shapes the brow, and then I go in and create little hairs. This is a great product. It has wonderful staying power. One done. And then when you have it where you want it, take the spoolie and just soften it a little. There we are. Okay, you guys, the eyeshadow looked to be a really, really fun palette. It's CoverGirl Chocoholic. How, how are you not drawn to that name? Can you, can you please tell me? Great colors here. Audrey approves. So I'm going to start with this sort of raspberry color here on the far right side. And we're just going to take a bit on the brush, shake off the excess, and just push in. It's got a little bit of iridescence to it, which is why I'm putting it on my eyelid. Amazing pigmentation, I can tell you that. Just going right up to the crease. Remember, go up a little bit higher than your natural crease line to create that open eye look. Big focus of my hooded eye tutorial. If you need a little help with that, I'll provide a link for you. Everything in our eye makeup is going to be top focused. 
I'm going to use the darkest brown for the outer corner. I'm going to block that in. You can use a little bit of a smaller brush just to get right up on top of the lashes at the outer corner and just out a little bit at an angle up to the outer edge of the eyebrow. We're trying to create a lift on the eye and not a downturn. Okay, I just use a little blending brush just to soften any hard lines and pull it out. And now we're going to use the lightest color for the brow bone. It's actually the orbital bone that runs underneath the eyebrow. Nice highlight color. I'm really, really liking the colors in this set. It's my first time to use them. And you can take a little bit and go inner corner just to brighten up. There's some sparkle in here too, by the way, so you can play with that. You can always add a little bit more to your lid. If you want more of a shimmer, that's up to you. So shimmer is just something you can dial up or dial down depending on what kind of a look that you're going for. We're gonna stick mainly with the matte shades for this tutorial because I have a matte lipstick to come. All right, so eye makeup is pretty well set. Next up is the eyeliner. It is L'Oreal Intense Infallible. And it's a black eyeliner that's going up top line only. So that runs underneath the lash line and we're building sort of a dark lash rim. So watch as we go. Starting inner corner, again going from underneath. And I'm just hugging right here in my lash line, not really doing the inner rim more the lashes to give that some depth. And this has sort of a gel-like consistency so it glides on really well. I am happy with that. And so if you remember the last video that I did from the drugstore, I had a mascara that I wasn't so happy with and I said, shoot, I should have stuck with the L'Oreal Voluminous because that's what I love. So yes, L'Oreal Voluminous Original in Black is my go-to mascara. If I can open it up. Wow, they seal these things well. There it is. Okay, so you've got two choices, the flat brush or the curved brush. I went with the flat brush and let's start building our top lash line. I love this mascara. I really do feel like it holds on to every lash, gives a great individual lash look, lengthens. Spend some time. This is probably the most time you'll spend is just building your lash line. So I'll do two coats on each eye. Okay, two coats of mascara on. I mean, honestly, you could leave it this way if you wanted to because it's such a good mascara. Or you could add some Outer Wing Magnetic Lashes by Ardell. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. I have a tutorial on applying these as well. I know a lot of you are trying to master that. Um, some of you have had great success, others still struggling a little bit, but I promise you, once you kind of figure out your way of getting them on, that's it. You will, you will be good to go. Okay, so there's an upper and a lower lash, and I gently will put the upper, sort of rest it on top, hold onto it with my finger, and then have the other one meet it underneath. So they're basically hugging your upper lash line. I just love them. I think they're awesome. Same for the other side. I'm gonna get it all the way back on your lashes. Hold on to it. Like I said, y'all, we're getting glammed up. It's nighttime, remember? Okay, eyes are on. Let's conceal back to our L'Oreal Infallible. Circles no more. And as you can see, nothing's been put on the lower lash line, keeping it completely bare. 
I do this, I won't even smudge an eyeshadow because I'm going for such a bold lip that I really want all my eye makeup to be on the upper lid going out to complement the lip but not to take away from it. And if you have any spots or things that need to be concealed, now's your time to do that too. Also a good opportunity to just clean out your eye makeup. If any, drop down below. Okay, and powder. For that, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. It's in a yellow, it's kind of a color correcting powder. Looks really yellow, but I promise you it does not turn you into a banana. <laughs> <laughs> I do promise. Bring it down. Time for a little bronzer. Again, another NYX product, matte bronzer. Just going in with a slightly angled brush. Using it as a bit of a contour. little sculpting. And my blush color is by Maybelline Fit. Kind of a pretty rosy pink. All right, I completely forgot. So it's 99.9% .9 drugstore, except for the lip liner. I forgot to buy a lip liner to match this lipstick, so forgive, but it's, it's a really bold cherry pink. This is by Thrive Cosmetics. Now you know what lip shade we're going for. Really like a cherry red, more than a cherry pink. Oh, silly me, NYX lipstick, of course. So as you can see, it's a hot pink red. Real popular color this spring and summer. It's a creamy matte finish so it doesn't feel drying. Are we glammed up for a night out or what? Okay guys, I don't know, I think this is probably my favorite drugstore look yet. I really do hope that you soon will have some opportunities or maybe even the desire just to get dolled up and possibly to get out and of course to do so safely. So that's the most important thing. Um, little by little, right? Baby steps. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, if you found it to be helpful. Please, in the comment section, let me know what you'd like to see from me. Follow me on social media, always. I'm there, I post all the time, and I love our connectivity there too. Uh, subscribe to this channel, ring the bell for notifications. When I release a video, which is every Thursday at 1 p.m., you will be notified via email. And yeah, that's about it. Go out, be bold, be blessed. I'll see you next Thursday.